Money. Nearly everybody uses it every single day to buy, well, basically everything. Money has worked pretty well for quite a long time, but in 2008, some people started to ask, is there a better way? Meet cryptocurrencies. Some people think they might be the future of money. The most famous is Bitcoin, but there are loads. In fact, thousands exist today. There's even one named after a dog that was started as a joke, but is now worth billions. So what's the difference between money and cryptocurrencies? Well, to explain, we've got some UK pounds that you probably know quite well, and some New John coin, which, well, we've just invented. Here's a rough guide to how it all works. When you buy something, you either hand over some cash or you use a card to pay. When that happens, your card tells your bank you'd like to give someone some money. The bank checks if you have the money in your account, and if you do, they send it to the person you've bought something from. So you and your bank are responsible for keeping track of how much money you have. Now, with cryptocurrencies, things work a little differently. They're completely digital, which means that unlike cash and coins, they don't exist physically. Cryptocurrencies can also be used to buy things, but unlike purchases made using a card, these transactions don't go through a bank. Instead, to keep track of who has what, there's a record of every single transaction ever made using that particular cryptocurrency. Yep, every single one. The record is public and anyone can see it, meaning everyone knows who has what. It's known as a blockchain and all transactions made here remain forever. forever. A blockchain isn't based in a central location, but is distributed among a large network of computers, which is kept secure at all times through complex systems. This makes it virtually impossible for anyone to tamper with a blockchain and ensures all transactions and users are protected. But hang on, there's one big issue you need to know about. Recording all those transactions doesn't just happen, it requires the help of lots and lots, and we really do mean lots of computers. And that's a problem. The public record that makes the whole system work must be constantly updated with every new transaction, and that means a lot of computers using a lot of energy. In fact, a study in 2021 found those computers use so much energy that if they were a country, they'd have been in the top 30 energy users in the whole world. And that isn't great news for the environment. So the big question is, could we be using more cryptocurrencies in the future? Well, it's clear there's something worth knowing about, but at the moment, cryptocurrencies aren't widely used, so it's difficult to say really. Will these be what you buy your shopping with when you're older? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Now, I wonder if I could make Newsround coin a real thing. Hmm, hold up. Let me go email my boss for a second.